Ferrari, no gas, Nico, got an update on the 50 kilowatt hour project for the 2013 Nissan Leaf. Now, I had a question about rapid gate. Will there be rapid gate with these new cells? Um, I have no idea, and I wouldn't be able to test that because my specific Nissan Leaf doesn't have a chatable point. So I reached out to Vivni and asked that question, and the response I got from Tracy was, yes, you're still going to reduce charging speed because there is no cooling of the battery still. So after one or two fast charges, it's going to slow down the rate, depending on the climate you're in. If you're down in Florida, Southern California, New Mexico, you're going to get one DC fast charge. Now, if you're in a northern state like me in Michigan in the wintertime, you might get away with two fast charges without slowing down the rate because it's so cool to start with. Anyway, doesn't matter. It's going to behave the same. But since they use the Cat L cells instead of for the original Nissan Leaf cells, they have a much smaller C rating, which means they are more forgiving with heat. They don't heat up as fast. So you might get more DC fast chargers. Again, if you look at their website, they do recommend only one DC fast charge a day to maintain proper health of the battery. Again, if you want to fast charge it four, five, six times a day, that's up to you. Just know that is beyond the recommendation of Vivni in China. So there you go. Have that. Another thing I had, I had a comment on, on my post about, somebody says, nice to see some new leaf material from me. And I have to agree. I was... Me personally, I was also getting tired of my content only being about battery failures. And I want to move away from battery failures and just move into upgrades and more positive things about EVs. Um, I did the battery failures because I was living it at the time. And I know hopefully that's a lot of good information for you guys out there to see what I went through and the process I went through. But again, I don't want that to be my channel, just being about negative things about the Leaf, because the Leaf is a good car. Um, it has some problems that we can work through, but again, I don't want my channel to be that. Thank you for that comment and uh, put it in perspective for me as well. So now let's get into the most important part, update on the build. They said they're looking to finish production and start testing on my 50 kilowatt hour modules and possibly ship next week. So we're about two weeks ahead of schedule, so I might be seeing this in January, maybe early January. We'll see, I'll keep you updated. So once I get a shipping confirmation, we'll let you know. All right, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click that notification bell so you can see what's going on and watch this build as it happens. Who knows, I may even do some lives. All right, thanks for watching, God bless.